Hi, Matthias from Mama World here and today we are going to create a 3D scene with real depths just with the help of a few still pictures. So let's get started. So here we are now in After Effects and we want to recreate the scene and your first task when you want to do something like this is to create your scene with a bunch of 2D layers that you layer on top of each other. So in this case I've got here this, these warriors with this transparent background that you can see here in black and behind those I've put this uh, image of this gate here where this part is transparent and behind this I've got here this castle. And combined they look like this. Here we've got our castle, here we've got uh, our gate in front of it and here in the foreground our warriors. Now if you would add a camera to this, so we say layer new camera and move it at the top and make our three layers here 3D layers by clicking on this icon. Now we could start moving our camera. So I set here position keyframe and now maybe two seconds later I want to move the camera to the side. And now you can see already what is happening. You can turn this scene but there's really no depth to it. It looks like a flat postcard that we turn to the side. And the reason why this is the case is because those layers are all at the same depth. So if we take a look at this, so let's go here for two views and in the second view we want to look at our scene from the top. Currently all our three layers are on this line here when I look at it from the top and we want to go into the position of these layers and move them backwards. So let's say we go to the position of this background layer here and we want to move it more to the back and you can see how it's moving back here and here you can see that it's shrinking, that it's scaling down and to compensate for, for this because we want this to look exactly as it looked before we would need to also scale it up and with this process our eye expression helps us. So we go to the window um, eye expressions here and in the eye expressions library we go to the camera bundle and choose the auto scale expression which pushes layers backwards and at the same time scales them up such that they look exactly as I did before. Yeah? So how do we do this? How, how is this expression working? It needs a reference frame and this is the frame at which the scene looks exactly as you want it to look. So here it looks as we want it to look, here not. Here we've got this flat postcard look. Yeah, here we want our scene to change its perspective, so to speak. So here we want it to be as it is and this is at frame zero. And now we need an offset. So we want to push our background uh, in the back and back. So this direction means um, positive Z space. So I say, let's say we go 5000 pixels. We want to push the background in this direction. If I apply this to the background layer, it seems like nothing has changed. But if we zoom out here, you can see our background layer is now here. And if we do the same with the gate layer and say here we just want 500. So I enter 500 and click apply. And you can see that this layer is here now. Okay, and you can see that nothing actually changed here. Now, what I always recommend to do with this expression is that after you applied it, you should bake it immediately. And we want to bake first the position and then after that only the scale. And this is because of some caching issues that might otherwise occur. So we reveal here from these layers that I applied the expression to the position and with shift S, I also reveal the scale. And now we first select the position and make sure our work area is just one frame because baking will always just bake the work area and we don't need thousands of keyframes here. And now I click in eye expressions on the bake button with the position selected. And this will deactivate our expression and create a keyframe on the position. And now I do the same on my scale, bake, and now we have our three layers distributed in 3D space. Here they look exactly as I did before. But now if we turn our camera, you can see some magic happening. Yeah? Now you see that this scene looks has way more depth than before. So if we turn it now, it's not a flat postcard, but the background here moves much faster than the night here, for example. And no matter how you turn your camera, yeah, so we can also look a bit down or upwards, you've got a nice perspective in this scene now. 
So this is how you create some depth in a scene that you make with just a few images to make it look much more 3D. And in the next part of the series, we will also add some depth of field to this to sell the effect even more. So that's the end of part one of this series. And in the second part, we are also going to add some depth of field to the scene. And I show you a very clever and easy method to focus your camera on individual layers very quickly. If you like this tutorial, please give us a like and I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial again.